As promised, we are at the Piala Fair. This is our local state fair, yes? Or is it the state? County. Western Washington. Western Washington Fair, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And all she can think about is the big banana. 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 It's a big banana. Anyway. There's, there's one that has dreadlocks over there. <laughs> that one has an afro. Lori Lee has already had two comments on her shirt today. One chick, I think, almost wet herself and she said, Oh my god, I love your shirt! <laughs> Center. It's Western Heritage. Oh, then, well, it's cool that they got tombstones and stuff. Yeah, it's like the old West, the cowboys shoot each other. That is so cool. I think I'm going to get a tag for my shirt today. Creepy doll bed. Look at the stove. Is it a bathtub? It looks like you said. She just said. It's that like it. a coffin, not a bathtub. Yeah. Why'd you quit hitting me? Owie. I'll quit it. I'll quit it. I'll quit it. If anything happens to you, we'll be right here. I love you, bye. And all of a sudden, a chain breaks. And whee! <laughs> oh, look, there they go. No! <laughs> about ready to play the game of pool for stuff and here's the break set one ball This is really disturbing. Hey, baby, come here. Have a seat. <laughs> you have a problem with some stranger's hand touching your butt? Yes. That's like sexual harassment and stuff. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> if I don't make it, the haunt must go on. Okay. I think we're going to die. We're not going to die. these guys. Do you know what kind of jack-o'-lantern you can make with this? 902 pounds. 1,246 pounds. The biggest one. 1,135 pounds. You could like carve that and put a bonfire in it. Yes, I have to flock to Halloween. Holiday decorations. Hey, look at this. This was Sean Morse. Oh, Cap there you go, Sean. Captain Scarrow, Jack Scarrow. Right there. That's for Sean. Cool. And which from Sleeping Beauty, handmade. And actually, these hand puppets are kind of freaking creepy. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> Is that creepy? It's so creepy. Ah, I'll see that. They're like mines. 
That is really cool. Kind of creepy. <laughs> That's for you, Zach and Jeremy. <laughs> A ball, ball. Dome lids. <laughs> oh, wide mouth rubbers. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I couldn't resist. Wide mouth rubbers. Look at all the haunt stuff, like kitchen stuff Scale. and stuff and stuff and stuff. I know that. This is the look that we need, 1930s. So washboard and the stove and whatever. That's an electric ironer, refrigerator. Oh, 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 I got it. I got this. Are you ready? What? Mini horse? For mini me? No. No? no. You don't like horses? Oh, I'm sorry. It's not good. Oh, num, num, num. Oh, I'm hungry. I'll move on. I'll have some too. <laughs> Guess so what? Cute. Two and a half months, three months. Yeah, but I'll have one, <laughs> not, not 15. Pumpkin carving 101. are real. It blinked at me. <laughs> yeah, it's real. Hairless bats. Weird. This is for Keith right here. There you go, Keith. All the spider lovers. <laughs> Big, hairy, spider. Old hen, young hen, and they're fighting. What you looking at? No. What you looking at? Stuff out of the way. Come on. Look, look. You want to go? You want to go? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, ow. You thought that hurt? Hmm. Watch this. Watch this. You ready? Gonna bring it? Gonna bring it? Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. What? What now? What Ooh, now? She nasty. We have and a young cock right behind us. Oh. Oh, okay. That is a cock. Okay. <laughs> so this chick walked behind me and I was just joking with Lori Lee and I said, I need to find a cock. She kind of looks at me and she walks by and I'm like, <laughs> May I help you? And Halloween tree and Halloween candles. Ghosties. If you guys want to come up and give it a try? If I had two more players, we'd be playing for one of these. Are you guys ready? Prizes. Are you ready? Are, right, you ready? You guys Are you ready? Are you ready? Hold those black buttons down. Aim at that orange disc. We're going to have one count winner and a Kodak moment. <laughs> so we had fun at the fair today and I did something bad but I guess I needed it because my body told me so I fell asleep when I got home I like crashed it's true. I'm surprised you didn't but your dogs were woofing too my feet right <laughs> I couldn't even get up I mean we walked we got there what at 10 and we walked around until about 5 we left 5, 5.30 yeah, so we, we stayed there actually longer than what we had planned. Um, I had planned to get home and do some stuff in the backyard. And one of the things I got at the fair today, guys, is something that's really, really cool. And if you didn't know better, it would look just like uh, like jewelry, I guess, just looking at it. These are really, really small beads. And the only reason why I got them is because, I, I don't know, I was walking past the booth. Lori Lee pointed it out. They're water. Yeah, they're meant to be put into, like, flower pots and stuff. And they grow to like the size of like a, a yeah a little bit bigger than a marble. These were the biggest ones they had, but touching them was so weird. It was like eyeballs. It was kind of gross. And normally in the haunt, I don't have anybody you know uh, put their hands in anything or touch anything. Um, I remember in elementary school, you know, we had a bunch of like Kleenex boxes that they had put stuff into. One of them was peeled grapes that are supposed to feel like eyeballs. Another one was uh, uh, chicken bones that were meant to be like fingers, and um, 
uh, spaghetti that felt like brains, you know, stuff like that. But these are really, really freaking cool. So I got two of them. They're only three bucks each, so six bucks. And this right here makes like a whole, like, pot of, I mean, they, they, they get really big. I've got two in here. I'm going to put a little bit of water in it. And tomorrow's vlog, you guys will see how big these things really get. Water. We got two of those little guys in there with water, and I'll show you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, it is time for COC. We will get into more Halloween stuff tomorrow, um, more build tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a big day. Uh, Ram is coming down again to help, and Keith should be here too. And Jesse, GK Eagles 10. Um, sorry that we didn't meet you at the fair. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys knew, but we were just planning on kind of meeting up or whatever, but he was also at work too. He lover 0745 I think I just screwed that up, but... I heard how awesome your haunted house is. Good luck this year, and be sure to post some more reactions like that car prop. Absolutely, we're definitely doing the video for the... We're, we're, we're doing video this year. I'm sorry, guys. I'm out of it. I'm freaking exhausted still. Ramthal. Woot! I don't understand the woots. Somebody gave you the link to go I there. know, I know. I know what they are. It's just, I, I, I don't know. Um, Troy screwed up and called the partition walls pallets again. Um, yeah, I did. I noticed that in editing. I'm like, eh, uh -huh, whatever. <laughs> did you ever figure out the square footage of your haunt this year? Um, no, I haven't. Um, it can be easily done. Um, I, I don't know, though. Um, Pops the Clown. Troy, I made panels for my haunt. My question is, would my panels warp if it rains? I have set up some already and only one side painted. Do I have to paint both sides? If it's going to be out in the weather, then yes, I would recommend painting both sides, including the top and the bottom. The biggest problem that I see you having or the, seeing with panels getting wet is wood separation and swelling. And of course, swelling will cause warpage when it shrinks back down again if, you, if you've used screws or whatever, it loosens them up. And you don't want loose panels. Right, and I guess you wouldn't want warpage with your screwage. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Black lip sand corsets. Definitely new commenter. Thank you. Uh, the haunt is looking great. You guys are so down to earth. It makes watching your videos so enjoyable. Aw, thank you. You're so <laughs> thank sweet. You. <laughs> uh, thank you both for all your time and effort you put into sharing your daily vlogs with me each day. It's so appreciated. Um, it, it, it's fun to do, and like I said, I don't try to fish for compliments, but it's stuff like what you just said that keeps me going when I want to go to bed. <sighs> yes. <laughs> wow. See, that's so much better. We can see your face now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, me I'm too. Sorry, people. <laughs> just kidding. Ow! Everybody wanted to steal my shirt at the fair today. Oh, I know. It was so cool. I, she, I think that I vlogged it. I haven't edited it yet. I can't remember what I vlogged right now, but yeah, one, two, three. I had at least there's, ten. So yeah, there's ten so can. many comments and just people looking too. It's so cute. Like, oh my god, I love that shit. That was one lady almost had like a, a brain gasm or something. I don't know. Brain gasm. <laughs> she almost had a mini O about it. Yeah, exactly. Emerald Gypsy Heart. I love Halloween, but hate scary things, including movies. Weird, huh? I would say so, because I love gory movies. It's actually pretty much all I watch. That's that's surprising. I, I'm surprised with that comment. Ozzy D Productions. Troy, the armpit thing I think you are talking about is from Superstar. Superstar. Yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Thank you, guys. NuxFan23. Question. I have one. Do you guys ever like reading creepy pastas? Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? Question: Have I won? Uh huh. What what drugs were you taking again? <laughs> um, <laughs> creepy yeah, pastas. You, <laughs> you been reading any creepy pastas, dude? <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie Allen, I was thinking if you want to be more solarium-like, you could build framework, then use clear visquine? Visqueen. For a glass effect. Looks great with a pale light shading through, I bet. And right after I read that earlier today, I was thinking, I'm like, well, obviously we don't have glass or anything, but 
Yeah, I mean, if we put something above the top mm -hmm. and have a light coming through the roof, yeah, that would be totally cool. And clear visqueen would not be glass, so it wouldn't be hazardous, and it'd be easy to do. Just lay the sheet up there, and be protecting it from water. So, three birds with one stone. <laughs> Very good. I like it. Mr. Dennis, do thirteen. Hey Troy, it's ton of, tons of pickles again. Since I commented on two websites, do I get a t-shirt? Absolutely. Yes, you do. And everybody can have a t-shirt if they go follow the link down below and go to Spreadshirt.com and, and grab a Hellmouth t-shirt that looks a little bit like this one here. This is the first edition, but it doesn't look totally like this, but it's the same kind of design. Yes, you can. Pumpkin Princess 1031 I loved last year's video, made a montage of your viewers' haunts. Are you going to do that again this year? <sighs> um, maybe. And the reason why I say maybe is because um, just with Halloween alone, with the uh, all the uh, scare footage I'm going to have, editing the videos this year is going to be really difficult because of, of this little guy right here. Yes, because we, right after Halloween, we have to do... Bust Make ass sure. and tearing everything down and getting the baby's room ready. Awoken Nightmare. Spirit has some very cool stuff. Are you going to be getting any props this season from Spirit or any other store, or are you just going to scare with actors? Actors are going to be a big part this year, um, bigger than they've ever been before. It's all going to be contingent on budget. There's still a few things that I need to get or would like to get for the haunt to make it happen and make it better. Um, so it really depends on how cool the prop is. And, you know, I, we, we might definitely get some decoration type stuff. Tiamela. Just got back from Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. Whatever. <laughs> and the whole time I was thinking all these costumes would make amazing haunt costumes. Especially white painter suits with masks. Creepy and cheap. Just like the flower people today. Oh they, my god, they were just way creepy. They were creeping me out. I had but, to walk by them quickly. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm thinking that they were like kind of Cirque du Soleil-ish. I, I don't know what they were from or what they were supposed to be or their purpose or anything. Their I relevance. I don't know, but it, they were creepy. Yeah, they were. They were just like walking flowers. And it was like... I just w kept walking. <laughs> I was like, don't get away from me. Creepy. All right, guys. So it was a fun day today. Um, <sighs> back to the grind tomorrow. And thank you for coming along. Happy haunting. See you guys tomorrow. Happy haunting. You want more? Come back for seconds tomorrow. <laughs>